Hey guys, welcome to a brand new vlog. This time we are in Paris. Very happy to be back in Paris. And we've just checked in at the Peninsula Hotel. I haven't stayed here in a number of years and it is has always remained one of my favorite Paris hotels. I mean, we're just in the top floor restaurant and I've been to this restaurant a number of times and it is just so lovely. This is the restaurant up here and it has a view that goes out. I don't know if you want to see this kind of view that just goes out over the Eiffel Tower, just in the corner. So I just absolutely love it here. So this is on the top floor of the peninsula. And apparently, because the breakfast room is closed tomorrow, we can have breakfast in here tomorrow. So that's gonna be so nice. We're just waiting on our room being ready. We've got five more minutes or so. So we said, let's just go have a hot chocolate and a coffee and um, wait it out. But I'm very, very excited to show you this suite. We're in the grand premiere suite at the Peninsula. We've been very, very kindly treated to a complimentary stay for Fashion Week by the Peninsula. The guy was like, it's a great view. It was like, this is special. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Thanks. Beautiful. Wow. Look at this. Oh. Wow. Oh, look at this bathroom. <laughs> and then in here. Oh my. Wow. Look at this. Oh, and the view. Is there a view out here? Oh, Alex, look. <laughs> Look at that view! I can't believe it. This is our this is our rooftop. I'm absolutely beside myself currently. Look at this! Oh my gosh, my heart is beating so fast. I had no Trying idea. To take it in. I had no idea. Oh my goodness, our own like private rooftop garden. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is absolutely incredible. Guys, I genuinely feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I can't believe it. I think I'm very tired, but I can't believe it. I had no idea. I can't, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm absolutely- I genuinely can't take this in. Gobsmacked. So we've got a little area that we're gonna have breakfast tomorrow morning. This would be amazing for drinks. And then it looks out all over the beautiful Parisian streets all the way around. But I mean, look. <laughs> Just started unwrapping this little gift, look. Wow. <sighs> They've embroidered a robe for me. And I'm guessing this is my Dior ticket. And for the Moogler event. Oh, wow beautiful little seating area. I love these chairs. That's why I really love this hotel. I've stayed before and always remembered it for being the most sort of chic and modern Parisian hotel that I'd stayed in. I've always wanted to come back. So I'm just thrilled to be here. Into the bedroom, as I showed you, this is an incredible like super king, emperor bed probably with the gorgeous view out onto my, our own little balcony. And then, as I showed you a bit more detail, this gorgeous black marble bathroom with a his and hers facing sinks. <laughs> right then, I better get unpacking my things! <laughs> just arrived. So whilst we're here, we have, um, I just realized my socks look so chic. Whilst we're here, we have a couple of Dior beauty events because obviously the Dior show is tomorrow. Dior beauty are doing a, num a number of events as well. So we're going to one tonight and then tomorrow night as well. So they sent me a few goodies. This is the deluxe set of four color lipsticks. Oh my goodness, look, it completely matches my bag. Very nice. Gosh, that's beautiful, isn't it? How gorgeous. Oh, 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 how does it? 
Oh, oh wow, the big mirror, that is amazing. Do you know what, I might start using this. Does this come out? I could start taking this on trips and like have all of my makeup bits in here. That would be so good for like doing your makeup on the train, wouldn't it? Well, there are all the refillables, Rouge Dior's in lots of different shades. Mm. And I've got one in no color and then they've got Nude Look, which is 100, which is one of my favorites. Look at that color. Oh, it's amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, we have a Miss Dior. I have brought this with me. This is all I've brought for the trip. So we now have two. You can wear one too, babe. I've got Savage. Wheel smell so floral. You got Savage already. Check you out, Mr. Dior. Dior Prestige Serum and the Cleansing Foam. That is special. That is very, very, very special. This is likely because we're going to the new Dior Spa later at Cheval Blanc. And they'll use Dior Prestige. And I've got some other goodies. Forever Couture Luminizer. I just got these at home actually, which are beautiful. Lip Glow Oil. This is actually great. Oh, yay! Okay, they've sent me a new Over Curl Mascara in a waterproof. Love the Over Curl Mascara. And they've sent me some of the, ooh, the brow styler and the eyeliner. Have you seen how beautiful this packaging is, by the way, guys? The new, like, Dior packaging is stunning. This is like a patent leather finish. And then inside, hello, I don't have this colour. Peach Luminizer, like a peach highlight. Wow. Thank you so much to the Dior team. This is very unexpected. Is this blue? Oh, no, it's black. It's black. It's just water. <laughs> The lip glow oil, which is absolutely beautiful on. In fact, I might put a little bit down. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, rouge blush. Birds of a feather. Look at this. Incredible coral shade. I am wearing that later with the peach highlight. And I have the five colour couture birds of a feather. Oh, look how gorgeous. Can you see that? Can you see the detail, how it's like feathers? Oh, yeah, cool. This must be Peter Phillips' new, new collection for like the autumn time. Thank you so much, Dior. This is a, the most enormous treat. So I need to get ready for tonight's event. It is going to be at Cheval Blanc, which is a beautiful hotel in Paris that has just launched a Dior spa. So I'm really looking forward to seeing it. The spa that's in Plaza Athene is out of this world. I don't know if any of you have seen it. It is just divine. So I'm guessing this spa at Cheval Blanc is going to be just beautiful. So we're gonna head there for an event tonight. So I'm gonna get ready and I have brought with me, I brought with me both of my Holland Cooper suits because I'm in Paris, I want to feel my most fashionable. It's a perfect time with the changing of the seasons and it's a little bit more chilly here in Paris. And so I've brought both suits. I've brought both with trousers and I've brought the shorts so it gives me options if I want to wear kind of a shorts and heel situation or even trousers and heel situation tonight I think I might wear the green one oh yes tonight I'll wear the green one and I might wear it with the shorts so I'll wear shorts blazer and maybe maybe a bodysuit or even I could even tuck this in that could look kind of cool yes I'll do that Okay, I'm almost done. So I did my air wrap routine with the Dyson air wrap and I pinned it last night, never done this, and slept in it. I literally tied like a big Hermes headscarf around it. I looked like the bougiest bread making person ever. Anyway, um, woke up with it today, unpinned it, went to the train station looking fantastic and then it rained. So it did look so fantastic after that, but never mind. So now my hair isn't looking so good. Uh, maybe I could just brush it through and give it a bit of volume, I don't know. Finished up my makeup, um, loving it, love this Dior lip, I've got the gorgeous highlight on and that beautiful coral birds of a feather blush, love it. And le outfit. <laughs> my beautiful upcoming Holland Cooper launch laser. I've gone for the Dior bra, so I'm on. I'm kind of on brand and I'm wearing it with the shorts. Little Dior belt moment in the middle. And I think I'm gonna go for my Christian Dior. Beautiful little saddle, how that looks. 
works well with the colours, I think. So yeah, so this is going to be tonight's little evening look, I think. Just feeling a little moment alone. We've just made it to the beautiful new Cheval Blanc Hotel, which I think the hotel is also brand new. But inside, they have the most exquisite Dior spa. Honestly, it's just like a little pamper paradise. Everything is so feminine and so beautifully presented. I mean, they've even got little Dior accessories. They've got special, special Cheval Blanc perfume and candles. You can't get those in the UK, so that is really special. Just all of the Maison finishing touches. I really want this little plate. <laughs> it's so, so beautifully designed in here. Lady Dior. I have never seen this before. Do you guys remember when I had my own Dior spa in the house and I put my blanket down on the bed like this? I feel like I started a trend here. This is one of the rooms at the Dior spa. It looks absolutely divine. Look how cosy. The piece de resistance. The pool in the hotel is something else. Gosh, absolutely phenomenal. I just noticed actually that it finishes here and then it moves upwards so it makes it look like it goes on and on and on. Wow. And then these beautiful white beds with Dior candles. I mean, how fantastic is this space? It wouldn't be a party with me without an April Fritz! So hello! Look how beautiful this lady is! Oh my! <laughs> it's the glow from this one! It's <laughs> So yeah, we're on the Aperol Spritzes and we're just we're just really enjoying this, this lovely vibe. Sunset, party, everyone is in such good spirits, all the different Dior teams, we're having such a lovely evening. And now we're going to head off to Lulu's for dinner. Good morning guys. Okay, so following on from the wonderful evening that we had last night, it is now the day of the Dior show. It is a nice, bright, early Tuesday morning and I'm back at Cheval Blanc again for my own treatment. This is such an enormous treat. So this is the treatment room. Oh, it has the beautiful um, around the world printed throws on here. Look at all the beautiful like marble and everything. Oh wow, my skin feels absolutely gorgeous now. She was using this, um, I don't know what it was, but it's some sort of device that had I think she said it was a blue sapphire or something, like it felt like a little rock that was vibrating really quickly and was just being very lightly pushed over the surface of the face just to exfoliate like the top layer. It just felt really lovely. And then she's put so many lovely serums and creams into my skin just to really help kind of ra add radiance and elevate it and it just feels, feels and looks wonderful now. Oh gosh. I wish I could have a facial like that every single morning. Back in the room and we are having breakfast on the roof terrace. Oh, wonderful avocado toast. Oh, portion of scrambled egg, little fruit bowl, little bits of croissant with a fly on it. <laughs> it is at the time for the show. I've just got myself all glammed up. Dyson corralled my hair, of course, and I've got this incredible full Dior matching look. Now, I never usually wear hats, but I feel that for Dior, I can make an exception. Leopard print look. Um, you might remember a little a few weeks ago, I wore another one of the animal print looks, and it was like a gorgeous warm toned brown. This one is in the grey tones, and I might be able to see here a lot better. So, we have this kind of silky shirt, and wearing it a little bit more open with my Dior bra underneath, tucked all the way into these really fantastic wide leg, quite like palazzo kind of pants. Um, and these are the Dior boots that I got a couple of weeks ago at Vista. They look so good with this, just really slick. So you've got this really baggy oversized trouser with slick shoes. I'm wearing my teeny little mini Dior as well. I've belted it with one of my favourite Christian Dior belts. 
you have to want to kind of wear it a little bit open with a little bit of movement to it. Then for my lipstick, I've done a bit of a, a mixture. Out of that gorgeous um, Dior set, I'm taking the balm with me to make sure my lips are hydrated. And I have applied a little bit of the 100 nude look, but then I found that I had this as well, the, free, the Forever Liquid in 100 as well. So I've put a bit more of that over top and I love it. I love it. It's so strange right now. It feels so different, but they just, it's just a really cool accessory. Also topped up with some of the brand new Miss Dior perfume as well. Why not have some more? Why not? Just a couple of my my Dior bits. I've got my Dior watch on that I bought a number of years ago. I love um, a number of little a number of the pearl bracelets. My Rose Devant ring. This is an Edge of Ember. This is our new. This is a new Luxor ring in silver from my Edge of Ember collection. I thought that looked kind of cool. Um, and then again another ring of mine, Jad Dior. And this again is a, a necklace. I've had for years that I love and I kind of brought all of my old favourites with me for this. So we are now ready to go. It has been a rush. <laughs> okay, I'm inside the venue. It always gets so hectic outside. There are so many people, it's like, how do I even get in here? So I'm inside, I'm at my seat and I've actually got a really, really great view over everything. hours since we finished up at the show we went and got a little bite to eat and then we came back and I've been trying to do a little bit of work in the meantime but we're now heading out for another Dior beauty event this time to celebrate the new Miss Dior fragrance and there is a little cocktail party happening at Loving You which is kind of like a there's a really famous eating drinking spot in France in Paris that you've probably heard of before um, they do a really great goat's cheese omelette. Anyway, it's like a the cocktail night for Miss Dior. So tonight I have instead gone with my red suit. So last night it was the green suit and tonight is the time for the red suit. I was going to wear the full trouser, but I just quite like the idea that seeing as it's such lovely weather, why not just wear the shorts and get the shorts out instead. It's so beautiful in this colour. I love it. I've just gone for a bodysuit to go with it so it's quite slick and chic. This over top and then a pair of my classic Dior slingbacks and I have my uh, saddlebag with me so that is my look. And then of course this is the Dior Rouge Dior 999 which is their like signature red. It is an amazing red. I just thought I've worn nude lip for so many weeks now, why not just go a little bit more red? So I really, really like this a lot. Oh, hi there. So we've just been to the Miss Dior event at Lavenue. Absolutely gorgeous. It was just so busy. So many people in one place, all to celebrate the new perfume. So it was amazing. But now we're on our way for a meal. Good morning everyone. We are just tucking into a little breakfast at the Peninsula Hotel. This looks absolutely divine. That looks so good, so good. This is the most lovely, lovely restaurant on the top of the peninsula. It is so gorgeous here, especially in the evening, and there's an amazing view 
just over here of the Eiffel Tower as well. So we're just enjoying a little bit of breakfast before we have to pack our bags. Hello guys, I wasn't going to film and then I've come across, we've just come across the most wonderful cafe in France and I don't, in Paris, and I don't want to forget it. <laughs> so it's so nice. It's called Le Perus, I think. La, la, la Perus. And it's just inside Hotel Marine or Hotel La Marine, right near to the um, Place de Concorde. It's we, across the road, isn't it? Yeah, literally across the road. It's absolutely divine in here. The most wonderful menu, like avocado toast and acai bowls, but also we are currently having crab mac and cheese. Alex is just tucking in with his brand new jumper on. We've both ordered the mac and cheese with crab. <laughs> it's that kind of a day. Coca-Cola, that kind of a day. But the most gorgeous like courtyard to sit out in. So we're just really, really enjoying this little spot. I'll be honest, we were going to go to Pret and get a coffee and then we were like, no, 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 let's find somewhere Parisian and new that we've not been to. Cause we're such creatures of habit sometimes, aren't we? And we just go with the same thing because it's easy. And I was like, no, let's find somewhere. So it's not because we don't have time. We usually don't have time, yeah. yeah. So today we have a little bit of extra time. We've just moved um, hotels. We've moved out of the beautiful Peninsula Hotel and just into one more for the night because we're going to the Balmain show later and I'd only booked two nights in the Peninsula. So we've moved out to another hotel and now I've just got an afternoon wandering around Paris which is wonderful so highly recommend this place so if you're looking for a lovely little cafe in Paris. days have been blissful being back at the house. We're in between trips so finished off fashion month which was really fantastic and now we are, well tomorrow we're off on a trip with Bulgari to Milan and Florence so that's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm really really excited about it like ever since I started my ambassadorship with Bulgari I've been meaning to go on trips with them and go to events with them and obviously I've not been able to do any of those things because of Covid so this is going to be like the first event as a Bulgari ambassador so it's a really big deal for me. Anyway I've just been to pick up lots of my um, poo box bits and bobs because it's been a while since I went. So I thought I'd open a few on camera with you just because it was just something that I'm doing today in the house. I've got a call soon. I've been on messages all morning about different projects and now I just want to take a little minute just to unpack some things. First thing I want to unpack though, I have been waiting. I have been waiting on this enormous parcel. I think, if this is what I think it is, this is a new art piece for the house. I've got a few on route actually, but this is one particular art piece by an abstract artist called Kirath Gundu and this is a piece that I thought would just be amazing in our hallway because believe it or not we still have room in the hallway yeah so that the hallway we have like obviously a black and white theme we've got black architraves and black and white floor and we've got white walls and so all the artwork is either photography or artwork that's black and white also trying not to ruin my nails I just had them just had them redone with the hot blend. So looking so pretty. That was this morning as well. So I've just done that. Got myself a Starbucks. Ooh! Oh, this looks amazing. And just the perfect size. So look, this is a Kirath Gundu piece. She does a lot more abstract art using like neons, like neon colors as well, which are so cool. If you're into colorful brights, you'd probably love her work. Like this is very much her kind of style, but I saw this one and I love me a box frame. All the rest of the artwork we have in the house very much like sings to me when I look at it. And that's, that's what I class a good art piece as. So here we are. 
course, it won't be to everyone's taste. I'm just very much into abstract art and I think this is so fabulous. I love the fact as well it's got this little neon bit down the side. It's just that little bit of Kiraf's like original usual. What was that? Enormous cat. Her usual kind of neon work, but within this very neutral uh, painting. So to me, that just really highlights what Kiraf is all about. Look how beautiful, gorgeous. I think it's I think it's acrylic or oil on canvas, but I love it. I absolutely love it, and it's gonna go in the hallway, right opposite the powder room. It'll be the perfect spot. That is so fantastic. I love it. I absolutely love it. I've just hung it up. <laughs> I have just hung it wonderfully. There was the perfect, it's the perfect distance as well, because on this side, it's an amazing Nirvana photo a friend of us bought us as a, an insane gift. And of course, here I have my beautiful commissioned roses piece as well which I love. So we have that next to Nirvana and then right opposite we have our Kirath Gundu now and it is so perfect here. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it there. Wow. Perfect. I love it when you can just put up artwork and not have to think about it. Right, let's get into everything else. Wow, okay, I've been sent a couple of the new Ella Luz oil infused lip glosses. I think they're all the lip glosses. Yeah, thank you so much to Camilla. I didn't know these were on their way. Oh wow. I mean, they're such beautiful, such beautiful packaging. That looks so lovely. Oil infused lip gloss. It's a bit more of a deeper shade. Packaging is gorgeous with this like copper rose gold top and then it's kind of sprayed down the side. It's really pretty. Just wanna have a little peek in all of these super neutral. I like that. That is really nice. That is very me. That is Caramello. This one is called Picante, which I imagine is more corally. Oh no, this one's more pinky. Oh, gorgeous. So those are some of the new LLU shades. Ooh. Mother Denim have sent me some of their socks, I love the mother denim socks, they're really cool. Quite often they have like quite explicit language on them. This one says, make love, not war, on the front. And this is a pair, what's that say? Just visiting down the side, a little alien on. <laughs> so cute, they're so good as like warmer, thicker socks for winter. And they've sent me a new pair Mother are always so, so wonderful to me and always gift me their denim and I just adore them. This is just a really great pair, like a deep, uh, dark wash with rips. Straight leg shape. Thank you very much to Mother Denim. I always look at who sent me the things before I open them. I don't know why I bother. I should just keep it as an exciting thing. Oh my gosh! Okay, things from Stay Wild Swim. Oh my goodness. Oh. This is, this is so kind. So um, the wonderful Zana at Stay Wild Swim has sent me some pieces. Wow, are they gonna fit me? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, wow, they are so lovely. I'm guessing that's just like a gorgeous new underwear set that they've just launched, like very me. And they've launched, they've launched this gorgeous linen set and they said to me, would you like it? Because they knew how much it would be me. And I was like, yes, please. Beautiful pair of linen, gorgeous kind of thick linen shorts with, oh wow, matching linen shirt. That is absolutely gorgeous. That would look nice, you know, over just some like patterned black tights and some like high-waisted, high-waisted uh, knee-high boots or something. Gorgeous. I'll leave these linked down below, guys, in case you want to see them in a bit more detail, but... That was unexpected, so thank you very much to Stay Wild Swim. Um, this has puppies on it, so I'm guessing this is for Bobos. I'm a little sleep. Oh, lovely! Oh, this is so sweet. Um, Scrumbles, highly recommend these if you've got a dog. Um, Bo loves these. These little softies with pumpkin and chia seeds, very autumnal, and they've also sent a little advent calendar. 
Bo had an advent calendar last year and he adored it. So that is so sweet. And they've sent a little reusable cup. Oh, adorable. Adorable. That is so sweet. I am making a mess right now. Um, I've got a little package from Wild Deodorants. Now I'm gonna be completely honest here. I've never worked with Wild Deodorants and they very kindly send me their deodorants. You've put, oh wow. I mean, that smells amazing. That smells so good. I, I wanna be completely transparent here though. I've been using the Wild Deodorants ever since they sent them me as a gift. But I'll be completely honest here now when I say I have stopped using them as of last week because the white marks were too much for me, too much. The black items that I wear and my black bras are covered, and I mean covered, in white stains from these. And it was getting too much, like I was even in changing rooms trying things on and all I'd do is pull something over my head and it would get the worst white marks. I, I've got sick of it. I, I feel awful saying it because I think what Wild are doing is fantastic. But until they can bring out a product that does not leave such drastic, really horrendous white marks, I can't use them. And I feel awful saying that, but I'm gonna give these to a friend who does use them. It's all over all of my like bal my black Balman dresses, Balman tops. Anything that's black has white. And it's like a thick, it's almost like a thick kind of deodorant. And it's like thick and it's almost caked on there. It's, yeah, I can't do it anymore. It's driven me absolutely mad to this point now. So as much, so as much as I adore what Wilder are trying to do with sustainability, I can't, it's not fit for my purpose right now. So um, when they do come out with a non-white mark one, for sure I'll be going back. But until then, okay, next up. Charlotte Tilbury brand new eye palette, instant eye palette, smoky eyes are forever. Lovely black case and yeah, a really nice little lineup of shades. I mean, Charlotte Tilbury does usually get it right. A number of shades in there that I'd wear, not all of them. I mean, they're very much, this is very much like a Christmassy kind of eye palette for sure. Again, I want to be kind of, I want to be honest here. I'm feeling honest today. Charlotte Tilbury, I adore. I wear their lipsticks constantly. I wear their serums, I wear their foundations. Do you know what, I, I am a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan, but I must admit, I think their amount of products they launch is a bit too much for the customer. It's too much for me, and I'm in the industry. I feel I would love to see them launch one product and talk about that product more than then launch another one, another one, another one. I can't, I, I feel like I, I can't keep up. And as much as I know the products are always fantastic, and like I say, and I'm, I'm a huge fan, I adore the brand. I just wish they would slow down their production a tiny bit. Charlotte Tilbury, thank you very much. That's so sweet. They've sent me a whole box of their magic creams. Refills, they must, oh, they must now do refills with magic creams, that's why. Magic Eye Rescue, whole box. Thank you so much, Charlotte Tilbury. Ardeo, so this is Sammy Jeffco. If you don't already fa follow Sammy, I'm sure you do, but Sammy is a wonderful lady. I have adored her ever since. In fact, I've adored Sammy since before she blew up on the internet. And I was a huge advocate for her. And I remember I used to talk to brands and be like, do you know Sammy Jeffco? Because she's amazing. And then I remember she blew up because she's adored very much by like the, the tattoo obs obsessives online. And I mean, she look, she's got, she's tattooed from head to toe and she looks unreal. So, I could, um, so she kind of blew up through that. And I was so thrilled for her because I think her work is exceptional and I love her. Anyway, she's just launched her own brand where she's creating beautiful silk scarves, but also um, harnesses, like leather harnesses. Um, very cool, and I love the branding. Anyway, she sent me some scarves. Alex is going to be jealous. How stunning. I am gonna wrap this around my bags, and if not, I'm gonna put this in my hair. This is gorgeous. Thank you so much, Sammy. I mean, I used to wear scarves in my hair like this all the time I mean especially back in uni I used to have short hair so I used to love like doing like big bows amazing as a head scarf amazing as a neck scarf in fact I've literally just seen Jade Holland Cooper 
putting a huge scarf on with my new green blazer from my Hong Cooper collection and it looks insane so I'm going to try that as well and have like a big kind of bow scarf on. So she sent me that one but also this little guy with all these tigers on it. This is like a smaller one. Again would be probably great to put around your bag. I mean would this fit on your, around your hair? Oh yeah perfect. It fits like a little small short one for your hair as well or you could wrap it around your bubble. Gorgeous. Thank you very much Sammy. Face halo. Another brand I adore. In fact, you know what? I've never worked with Face Halo. I'm a huge fan. Huge fan. Cute. What he sent me? Glow Skin Set. Oh, cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, nice. Okay, so they've got two of their... Wait, they'll say. They've got a remover, then a cleanser, and an exfoliator. So that's an exfoliating pad. This... Oh, I don't know what's what. Oh. Oh, I don't think it really matters. But one's, one's for taking off your makeup. One's for then kind of cleansing over top, a clean one, and an exfoliator. Cute little set. Sorry guys, this is a big one this time because, oh, nice, lovely, lovely, love it. I just love it when I get some kind of unexpected fashion things. This is from a favorite, I mean, look how beautiful, how they come in these beautiful, like silky um, cotton pouches. Inside, we have, oh my goodness, unreal. Full, do you know what, I might wear this tomorrow. Oh no, actually on the plane it might be a bit annoying in a jumpsuit. Anyway, full cotton jumpsuit in this beautiful navy colour, linen, gorgeous blue navy. I love it, I love it. And it comes with a belt. Fantastic, I've got some new things now to wear in Milan. I'm thrilled, I'm gonna wear that in Milan. Love, love, love. In fact, I'm going to wear that with my new scarf from Ardeo as well. Oh no, this isn't mine. This isn't mine. This is a metal detector and it's not mine. <gasps> oh no. Silly billies have given me the wrong thing. I'll have to take that back to them next week. <gasps> That's so bad. I wonder if I picked that up accidentally without meaning to. Oopsies. Dear Francis, make stunning shoes. What a lovely box. I love it with like the mottled, mottled paper. Oh my goodness me. Look at those. Look at those bobo, how nice, aren't they nice? Beautiful, gorgeous, like orange, tan, suede boots with this beautiful, these will look unreal with that blue, jumpsuit <sighs> sometimes shoes and clothes really make my heart skip a beat look at that toe look at that toe that's amazing that is autumn that is autumn in a boot right thank you dear francis francis thank you dear francis these are just divine absolutely divine Ooh, exciting oh lubies louboutin yeah, available from September. Oh wow, look at this. Pick your shade of Christian Louboutin lipstick. And then it has the beautiful cases and you can kind of mix and match your cases. Stunning. And they have charms, they come with like little charms, like a little shoe and that's a little bag. Wow. Well, this is exciting. Thank you very much, Christian Louboutin. Do you know I say Louboutin? I'm sure it's Louboutin, the way I used to say it, Louboutin, Louboutin. It's just that some, to some people it sounds like Louis, Louis Vuitton, Louboutin. I know people in the past have got that mixed up whenever I say Louboutin, but I'm pretty sure it is actually Christian Louboutin, not Louboutin. I've started saying Louboutin because everyone else says Louboutin, I think I'm saying it wrong, but I'm sure it's Louboutin. Any French people, let me know, am I right? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much to the Christian Louboutin team. L Louboutin. Mm. Guys, this is insane. This is an absolutely incredible gift. Oh my goodness, look. The iPhone 13 Pro Max. Oh my gosh, this is insane. And I've got it in, in the blue. I haven't even seen this yet in person. Wow, this is so exciting. Brand new phone, perfectly in time for my Milan trip. 
Wow, this is an incredibly special gift. Love the branding in this, by the way. So fun. Over Fashion Week, I noticed more than ever just how many people have a Case to Five phone. Everyone I met had a Case to Five phone. Let's just say that. It's, it is amazing how they've dominated the entire market. And look what they've sent me! A mirror case. You guys know I only use mirror cases and they have made me one to fit my phone. And so in sending me this wonderful gift, they have enormously treated me to a brand new iPhone to use with my new case. I mean, this is just too much. That is just so wonderful. Thank you so much, Case to Five. Like, this is unbelievable. They've got my brand new case, and they've got my brand new phone. Brand new phone. Ah, mirror case. My current mirror case looks like this. <laughs> Wow, gosh, that's amazing. I'll leave a link, by the way, for this mirror case. A lot of you ask me about my mirror cases. I'll leave it linked down below. Oh my gosh, so cool, look at this one, with VM all over it. There's that one, there's this one, with its cool, like, clouds. And this is beautiful. Look at this, it's very me, like, abstracty, arty. Gosh, that is just too much. They even sent me screen protectors. I'm, I'm absolutely gobsmacked at that. Thank you so much. I can't believe that. So grateful. <laughs> Husband's home. There's one last thing to unpack that was in like a big box that I didn't even see. Really see, nice basket. I know, v and &A. Oh, it's beautiful. Where's this from? Colourful Garden Company. Colourful Garden Company. Oh, look. Oh, wow. I was not oh, expecting it's that. It's beautiful. It's a full picnic basket. Are they little salt and pepper shakers? Yeah. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. This will be for little plates. Oh yeah, true. And there's wine glasses in there. Look, and cutlery. This is amazing. How beautiful is this? Oh wait, yeah, there it is, yeah. Oh yeah. look, this is absolutely plates. beautiful. Look at that, like linen. And it's like a cooler pack. This is So we great. can go on cute little picnics. Do you remember when we did oh, one at the end of the summer? This. Yeah, we did. We should go out there um, next summer. <laughs> <laughs> next summer, we should go out there again. Think of the four person's basket seats. It's got four sets of cutlery, four glasses, and then four little plates as well. And um, yeah, you can have your own letters put on here, whatever you want. Such a great idea. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you very much, the Gold Colourful Garden Company. I'll leave a link down below, guys. I mean, this would make such a beautiful um, Christmas present idea. Gosh, I am looking so tired today. I just didn't want to put much makeup on today. I literally only went out to do my nails, to get my nails done. And then I've just been doing bits and bobs, so. And I've just had a really fantastic call with Edge of Ember, just like a catch up about the jewellery and how it's been selling. Yes, it's been quite a busy, productive day today, actually. Loads has been going on. Though so I hope you've enjoyed my little unpacking session there, guys.